Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this video, we're going to see a special tweak for tape, reel-to-reel -reel tapes or also audio cassettes, any kind of tape, actually also VHS, even videotape, all kinds of tape should or sometimes required this tweak. Want to know what we're talking about? Coming up. Did you ever try to record music, uh, a speech, whatever it is on tape, and you can still hear the precedent recording on it? Obviously, this is going to happen, especially on cassettes, because it's much more easy and everyone has been exposed, not everyone. A lot of people have been exposed and now finally, fortunately, they're doing it again to cassettes with cassettes, where you have practically some uh, some frequencies a part of the the prior registration the prior recording if you did have a recording on that tape Otherwise, obviously if it's a virgin blank tape, that's not gonna happen. But in many cases this happened especially with high coercitive types of cassettes um, especially chrome but mainly metal cassettes. Oh boy, these are really hard to um, erase completely, demagnetize, realign all the, the oxide in order to record again uh, a, a, a new recording, a new, uh, a, new, a new signal without any parts of the old recording that was on top. Especially this happens because now we're buying again metal cassettes and most of these are used. So if you, that's what at least that's what's happening to me. I'm buying them on eBay, and a lot of times, obviously, I mean, there's already stuff on it. When I try to record my music, that's what happened also on our Anna Dialogue Volume Mix One. If you don't know what this is, here's a link. Um, and this is a metal cassette, and unfortunately, during reproduction, not only between one song and another, where obviously it's dead silence but also in the playback of a song, I could hear the other song behind it. Insane. I mean, you cannot listen to music that way. And since we're talking about the best quality cassettes, we need a solution. And I, there is obviously a solution. What is the solution? The solution is a bulk tape demagnetizer or also known as a degausser. Oh yes, baby. That's how professionals do it. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so we're ready now to treat our patient here. Yes, the Anna Di Dialogue Compilation Volume 1, which as you know was made on this metal tape cassette. So unfortunately due to the issues I just told you before, it's time now to treat our little patient here. Okay, so let's put it on the side and what do we need? to completely demagnetize such a strong um, type of tape, of magnetic tape. Well, we're gonna need something like this baby over here. Oh yes. What is this? This is called a bulk, bulk tape demagnetizer or degausser. This is a Geneva PF250. It's a fantastic American US brand, which was making this, these in the past century. Uh, they're old, these, this should come, I think, from the 60s or 70s, something like that. And it's, it's hard to find them. I mean, obviously they're not anymore in production, but obviously there are other models. I will put a few links below, in the video description below, to give you an idea of other types of models. Unfortunately, um, uh, table bulk tape erasers like this one, not the handheld ones, those are, are tremendous. They, I mean, <clears throat> they're not good at all. Please do not use the handheld ones. They're not strong enough, okay? We really need something uh, capable of completely erasing, demagnetizing, not demagnetizing, well, uh, yes, I mean, realign all the uh, 
the, the, the ferric oxide in a specific order as in the beginning. And this must be done with a strong magnetic field like this is capable of doing. <clears throat> so in order to use this, since as you know, I'm based in Europe, we're going to need something else, unfortunately, due to the, uh, the voltage. And we're going to need, at least in my case, if you're in the US, no problem, something like this. This is a step up or step down transformer. As you can see, this is a good quality model because it produces a pure sine wave, not a digital wave, reconstructed wave. This is important if you want to buy one. Check those that create a pure sine wave. <coughs> and this is excellent if you need to um, connect a 230 volt or 110 volt like in America. And on the other side, you can decide which kind of voltage you're going to connect the machine itself. So we're going to need this on a side. Let's hook it up here. Okay, I think you can see it. I'm gonna put our nice demagnetizer here. We're gonna connect it to one of the inputs. Kind of stiff this one. Let's try this other one. There we go. Okay. And um you gotta be careful of these because obviously there are extremely strong man magnets inside when you turn it on. Um, so if you have a peacemaker, uh, you have, I don't know, I'm gonna take off even my watch. If you have anything, obviously other cassettes around them, do not do this near anything that it's uh, electronic, your computers, because obviously these are used, were used also to demagnetize um, hard drives. They still do actually. Uh, the past hard drive, not the solid state drives they're, they're starting to sell now, but the, the magnetic tape based ones that we used for the, all the past century almost in the, in the first years of this century. So that's why we, we're, they're still around. You're going to find these still around and you, you need them very strong to, um, to go against that coercivity. Okay. So again, these were used essentially for reel-to-reel -reel tape, but also cassettes, absolutely. And also videotapes, actually. VHS, absolutely, any kind of tape. So let's start turning this on, okay? Now, before I turn this on, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Um, I already tried to erase a, a metal cassette. As I said, these are one of the toughest of all. That's why I had to buy one of these, because unfortunately, it's impossible to obtain a good blank cassette if you do not get something like this. Um, so I'm gonna do a lot of passages. The, the main concept is to pass your cassette, usually in this area, for four seconds, more or less, then you turn it around, then you flip it over like this, then you flip it over like that. You can also move it a little bit in different directions. I had to do it three times. I mean, turning it off and after 50 minutes, because you have to cool, cool this down. It's, it's dangerous if it warms up. After a few minutes, I had to redo it and I had to do it three times. So like three entire cycles before, before all of the music was gone. Oh my God. Obviously, if you're using um, chrome cassettes or, or even normal ferric oxide um, type one cassettes, then Absolutely, it's gonna be much easier in, in immediate. Okay, so time to erase our volume one mixtape to make a, a better one. Let's start. Keep, the, keep the, the cassette far, bring it along closely, and once you're done with the operations, you pull it away slowly, and then you turn it off, okay? Let's start.
Because I really want to get this baby erased. Okay, so let's see now if our patient is clean. Okay, guys, so I hope this was useful. Um, as I said, this is a perfect solution for any kind of tape, also hard drives, anything that used magnetic tape, okay? Videotapes, audio tape, the old hard drives in our computer, anything. It's fantastic. Obviously, as you saw, you'd have to do that passages a few times, especially when we're talking about metal cassettes or, or this ty these, these types of oxide, which are really, really resistant. But you'll see that you're finally gonna have practically a new product ready to be recorded with dead sound silence. Oh yes. Okay guys, um, I will try to put, as I said before, a few indications on a few models, but please, you do the same. I mean, in the comments, leave your suggestions for uh, demagnetizers and um, uh, degaussers. As I said, I do not recommend the handheld ones. Those are not strong enough, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye.